I'm Simon Danfoss, Application Manager in the Clock and Timing Group with Texas Instrument. Today, I would like to introduce you to a full featured fractional 14 gigahertz PLL, part number LMX2492 and part number LMX2492 Q1 for automotive application. Before we get to a live demo, I'd like to discuss with you a certain number of features of the part as well as its performance. To the computer here, I have a block diagram of the actual PLL. It has a phase detector and a charge pump as expected, a reference path and a feedback path, and full feature fractional modulator. To start with, I'd like to point out that this part can be operated on a single 3.3 volt supply. But should your application need it, a separate supply can be applied to the charge pump at 5 volt. The performance of that PLL is excellent at minus 227 dBc per hertz. The input reference can go up to 1200 megahertz and the phase detector frequency for higher performance can go up to 200 megahertz. As far as the VCO is concerned, the range is from 500 megahertz to 14 gigahertz. Finally, the divider on the feedback path is full featured with fractional modulator, has FM modulation, ramping, comprehensive ramping, and a programmable, fully programmable Delta Sigma modulator from first order up to fourth order. What type of application would be used uh, would require such a part? Because of the excellent ramping capability, FMCW sensor or automotive radar comes to mind immediately. Should you do not, you, you would not need to have the ramping feature, but you still require the excellent performance of the PLL, microwave backhaul, test and measurement, satellite communication, or wireless infrastructure would immediately come to mind. Even you could think of using that fractional PLL to clock your high performance data converter with the right VCO. Let's move on to the actual EVM connected on the bench. We have here an EVM fully operational with the LMX2492 part, its external VCO. All the supply for this part is applied through an SME connector located here. The reference signal is applied to this SME connector, but could also use an onboard crystal. The output of the VCO can use either the native frequency on this SME connector or the native frequency divided by two. Finally, you have a serial interface to that flat cable to program the registers of the parts. Let's move to the software that is contro controlling the part through the serial interface. Software is called Code Loader and is currently operating the part. The Specified operating frequency is 9.6 gigahertz, but we can change that as well as all the other features of the part. Charge pump, fractional, uh, input divider, feedback divider, as desired. Here I'm going to change the VCO frequency from 9.6 to 9.7 gigahertz. If I move to the signal source analyzer, I can see that the carrier is now at 4.85 gigahertz, which is half of the 9.7 gigahertz that I just set. Let me put it back to 9.6 gigahertz. And we can see that the carrier moved back to 4.8 gigahertz. Now I'm going to move to the uh, very nice feature of uh, frequency modulation or ramping. The frequency ramping on this software is done through a table. Literally, it is a state machine. 
on this slide, I show an example of a four state, zero to three. The software has a table, and since the part can do up to eight different ramps, the table has eight row. Each row corresponds to a state. For each state, we set the desired destination frequency and the duration. And finally, we also set the actual next state that we want to go to. Since here we're doing 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, we do from 0 to 1, so on and so forth, 3 down back to 0. Let's take an example on the live software. On code loader software, there is a ramp calculator tab. That's where you need to go to set the actual ramping. Here we already set some ramp in interest of time, and I'm just going to click ramp enable here. And that should enable the ramp. Now let me get back to the signal source analyzer and change the mode to modulation domain analysis. In this case, we can see that we selected some interesting ramping with different slope. We have actually four or four or three ramps, uh, three positive and one negative with different slope. Depending on your application, you select whatever you want. You can also use this ramping feature to control the return to zero or some of the overshoot that you may experience. That concludes the ramping features. Today, we've shown you a LMX 2492 full featured 14 gigahertz fractional PLL with great phase noise performance, the ability to run at 14 gigahertz, a five volt charge pump. For more information, visit ti.com slash PLL. Thank you for watching.